What's up, guys? All right, let's get right into this because this is the information I wanted to get out to you. Um, the Ministry of Health here in Cambodia has passed a new decree and people have been making posts about this in different forums and uh, Facebook groups. Uh, but generally the information is just something they heard from somebody else and they just had to be the first to get on there and tell you everything they know even though uh, most of the information for them is either it's either misinformation or just not true at all but they have issued a decree that uh, not wearing a mask in public under certain circumstances or inside certain establishments would result in fines beginning at $25 all the way up to $2,500. So of course, that means people got a hold of some of this information and started posting things about how, oh, if you don't wear a mask, the government's gonna fine you $2,500. And uh, that's only part of the information. I have not read the official uh, statement But I did read an article from a uh, my newspaper talking about it. So I want to give you the best information I know and should any of that change. Of course, I would let you know in future videos. Yes, there is going to be a mask mandate of sorts in Cambodia. Um, but it's mainly going to be for if you're outside walking around or doing something outside in uh, groups of I believe four or more people and in certain business establishments some of which will be mandated by the government if you own a certain type of business you have to have the patrons wear a mask and other businesses that that is not mandated could also take it upon themselves to have the same policy. So, if you're just walking, like me and Sang Lai, if we're just out walking around like normal, and we're not, we're not in a group, we're not stopping and close enough to anybody else, it's not going to affect us. Nobody's going to roll up and say, oh, you're not wearing a mask, you got to give me money. But if there were like four or five or six of us, we're just going out one night and we're out walking around, then they uh, possibly could if none of us are wearing a mask. But for individuals, that fine is going to be $25, not $2,500. The bigger money, the $2,500 part comes uh, from business owners who are mandated to have their customers wear a mask and they refuse to do so. So in that case, the government, if they see that, will start fining those businesses starting $25 and then going up in increments up to $2,500 for future infractions. That's my understanding of the article I read, how it's going to work. Like I said, that outbreak on January uh, 20th, I believe it was, in Phnom Penh has spread. People have gone down to different provinces. Tampong Tom, Sinukville, Tampong Cham, Siem Reap, all from that one incidence of very selfish people not wanting to do their quarantine wait for their test results. And I just want to mention that for people, uh, you know, who say, nah, wearing a mask, oh, trying to control the people, just uh, remember this wasn't the government's idea. They tried to put off a mask mandate for as long as possible. 
It's the people's fault who thought they could just do what they want and not follow the rules and regulations. Wanted up being positive, and now you're spreading the virus. You know, a couple hundred more cases at least just out of that one infraction. So yeah, you or you and a couple other people even just walking down the street, you don't have to worry about the popo pulling up on you and harassing you. But if you're in a group of people, uh, you do have to wear a mask. I'm not sure exactly which businesses are going to be required. That will probably come in the final official announcement. But they will mandate some. And like I said, there are some uh, businesses who may decide to follow suit on their own. <coughs> to make people feel better about coming inside. Considering I see about half the people here wearing a mask most of the time anyway. I don't think this is really going to affect uh, the local population much. The only people seem to be complaining are, of course, the uh, foreigners. We just don't want to wear a mask. But just wear a damn mask. Yeah, it's uncomfortable, but uh, when you go teach at a school here, wearing long pants and a long sleeve shirt and a tie is uncomfortable because it's so hot. It's just something you have to do. So we'll see how this policy takes shape, how it's going to be enforced. And I'll keep you up to date on with that on anything I hear. Oh, and I also wanted to say that uh, I've talked with uh, Craig. People wanted to keep uh, keep them updated on his on, uh, his job situation, and uh, he's been to a few schools already. He's already went back and had an interview with one. And uh, right now, as I speak, it's Monday morning here, so he's hoping to hear back from them next week. So that's good news. I will let you know as soon as he lets me know what's going on with that. But I will say this, if you are coming over here to teach and you do get an interview, don't stop, don't stop putting in your applications. Because if you don't hear back from them at all, that's usually how they tell you no. And you don't want to sit there and just put all your eggs in that one basket because then you lost time and you might have actually found another uh, job. But yeah, we will see with that also. Let's go down the little alley on our way to uh, Luke's house. I found a, <clears throat> I have to look to see if they have any here and see them reap. But I found online the thing I need for my phone. It's a splitter for uh, external microphones, which I didn't know existed. I didn't know if there was a way to record like a podcast or a video with two people on the same phone if they both needed uh, mics. I found what I was looking for on Amazon. They were only like eight to 11 bucks, something like that. There are a couple stores around here that I'm gonna go check out as soon as I get some extra money. And uh, then we're gonna have Luke over and some special guests for my podcast on my other channel, Laughing on the Inside. The link for that is down below. And it should be fun. It should be a good time. Oh yeah, he's going to need a nice new paved road once this is all... Uh, once they're all done tearing it down and building it back up. So he should be happy. 
Ooh, they took down that big tree. Oh man, that's a bummer. All right, I'll talk to you guys uh, later. All right, we are now in the market for lawn, soccer lawn. We're just picking up a few things uh, for ourselves tonight, but we'll be coming here, picking up a lot for the uh, village here in a few days. Got some donate donation money saved up, and we want to go out there and uh, bring our usual food and uh, maybe a couple what uh, would be considered luxury items, although they're not. We're not talking about a you know iPads or a <laughs> or a Lexus. <laughs> I think in the West those would be considered luxury items, but uh, here they're substantially less than that, but still very much appreciated. That's a lot of fish. A lot of fish. Anyway, <clears throat> that is the situation on the mask mandates. And uh, I wanted to give you guys that information now. Some people may have heard it, some people may not have, some people might have received uh, improper information. Like I said, I will keep you updated. All right, if you uh, want to donate to help us continue to do what we do here, it's very much appreciated. All the links are down below to my PayPal, buymeacoffee.com. And uh, join my Patreon if you want. If you do any of those things, you receive exclusive videos, first look videos, updates, and more. Also down below, you can join the membership right here on uh, YouTube. You don't even have to leave YouTube if you don't want to, and you get uh, all the same benefits. And including some extras because there's no third party involved. So right by the subscribe button, if you live in a country that supports it, you'll see a join button. Click that to see the different tiers and all the benefits. Otherwise, there's a link down below you can go to. If neither of those things work, that means you're not in a country that supports it. So no worries. Also, links to all my books are down below. Links to my social media are down below. Be sure to check out and subscribe to my new channel, Laughing on the Inside. That link is down below. I do things there much more frequently than I do on this channel. And uh, it gives you a way to know more about me and my personality when I'm not just doing videos for Dave Does Cambodia. And I try to keep it funny. I don't try to take things uh, too seriously on there. So. Yeah, I might be doing a couple live streams coming up there pretty soon if there's enough interest. So let me know in the comments if. Uh, you subscribe to that channel and if you want to see uh let's see we do a live stream all right also down below are links to uh other people's channels who are vlogging in Cambodia and they all have really good information and you should definitely check them out you get to see a lot more of the country you get to see a lot more sites with some of them and uh i've added a couple in uh, the recent past so if you haven't checked them out, my recommend the recommended uh, stations, the recommended channels is what I should say, down below. Be sure to do that and check out all the new ones I've added. Right now we're in a pass that while I sing a lie, say goodbye. Oh, it's really close. Bye. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you guys. In the next one.